Hey guys, what's up? Today I got an empties video for you where I basically give you reviews on all of the stuff that I've finished up recently. So I'm gonna do makeup first, but I also like to talk a little bit about skincare, hair care, and then I do snacks at the end just because I love to talk about food and candy and stuff. So as usual, everything that I enjoyed, I will have it listed down below with my links. And if you do use those links to shop, it does directly support my channel, so thank you for that. And I do list everything, but I don't link the products I don't like. I just link the stuff that I like and that I would recommend um, getting so yeah let's talk makeup first because these are the empties that excite me the most these are the ones that I look forward to showing you guys and talking about so the first one I have here is a lip pencil but I have used it up all the way and it actually had only a tiny tiny bit left but it got stuck in the cap so I really can't get it I tried to get it but it's hard to get out so I think that means it's done and I have repurchased this already because it is my favorite lip liner ever it's from Milani and it's the shade all natural so I am wearing it today I just lined my lips with this and then I put on some of my Fenty gloss on top and this is just my favorite lip pencil because I feel like it can go with anything. It's just the perfect your lips but better shade for me. I use this lip pencil all the time for pretty much any day I wear a nude lip, anytime I want something neutral. All natural is just like my perfect shade because it's, it's just neutral with a hint of pink. So it looks good on my skin tone. It doesn't wash me out. It's just enough color. And I find that this is even beautiful if you just wear it alone and fill your lips in with it. I do that all the time too. But how I have it on today is just line my lips, fill it in with gloss, and that's it. The next empty I have here probably has like one more use out of it, but it's getting pretty grimy and it's not clear anymore. But this is from Glossier and I think it's just called their lip gloss or the lip gloss, something like that. I bought this over the summer. I went to their store over in Hollywood and it was really just a fun experience going to the store and kind of like seeing what the brand was all about because Glossy is one of those brands that you see all over Instagram, but you don't really know like what their products are like. You just see it, you know? That's why I wanted to go to the store in person because I wanted to really feel the products and smell them and like see what they look like and stuff. And the gloss is actually the only thing I really liked from the brand. The other things I tried were not that great in my opinion. I just didn't find them to be like super exciting. So this gloss, I love it because it's very hydrating. It's not just glossy. Like you actually feel like your lips are kind of being nourished a little bit and it's no glitter in here whatsoever. It's just a very glossy gloss. It's clear, but you know, over time it does get kind of gunky and uh, I tried to prevent that for as long as I could, but towards the end here, I'm just like, I need to use it up. And I pulled the stopper out of it. That's a little trick you guys can do. If you have any products that have um, a doe foot applicator, there's always like a little stopper. If you just take some pliers and pull that out, out, you can get like in there and really scoop up the last amount of product. I really did get a lot of use out of this. I love the way it made my lips feel and for that alone I would repurchase it even though it is just a clear gloss and I know it's kind of expensive for what it is. I still like it. I still felt like it was something that I used enough to where I would get it again. And it's it's just perfect for every day, really. Like if you even don't have makeup on, you can just use this kind of like a lip balm that makes your lips look super glossy. It's really pretty and I, I actually really liked it. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is something that I always have in my makeup collection because it's basically my go-to foundation. It's less than 10 bucks at the drugstore. This is the matte version. I don't like the regular Fit Me. The regular fit me like kind of turns orange on my skin but this one matches me perfectly straight out the bottle it's called number 112 natural ivory it's one of the in-between shades and i noticed not every drugstore sells the full shade range but ulta usually does so if you guys are kind of an in-between color like i am i recommend trying to find this at ulta or just online if you can um, but this is great for like those days where i really can't touch up my makeup which is pretty much every day like i don't have time to like reapply stuff and check up on it so that's why i like this formula because it lasts from like my morning till the dead end of my night and it just it doesn't really budge on me and i love that it, it also doesn't feel like super drying or heavy like some other matte foundations can on my skin so i really appreciate this formula and the price everything about this i really like i have an eyeliner that i finished up recently this is from fenty beauty and it's called their fly liner so i got this to replace my kat von d tattoo liner because i felt like the tattoo tattoo liner dried out too quickly like I think the formula changed or something like I don't know what's up with it but I just decided okay let me try something else so the fly liner came out this was a couple months back when it was new that's when I got this and 
at first I loved it. The grip is like triangular shaped, so it's really nice and easy to apply. Like the way the applicator is shaped is great. I love that. The pen itself is kind of like a felt tip pen. I really like the way that it feels and it bends very easily. It's really flexible, but as you can see, it's pretty much completely dried out now. And the thing that I loved about this from the get-go was that it was so fluid and inky, kind of like almost like a water type of feel to it. And it was actually easy to control like because of how free flowing it was. But after about like a month and a half, like right around the second month mark, it just completely dried up. Like the tip especially got so dry that it I couldn't even use it. And it was like, I had to kind of like press on it from the side to really get the rest of my use out of it. So I think maybe I just got a bad one because when I first was using it, like the first month was a breeze with this eyeliner and I loved it. I'm kind of sad the way that things ended up with this pen, but maybe I just got a dud. So honestly, if you guys have tried this, I would love to know like your tips and tricks on how you made it work for you. I think maybe I would try to get in the future, but I just want to use up some of my other ones right now. Um, the Urban Decay one is what I'm using currently, the Perversion Pen Liner, I think it's called, and that one's great. So, so far so good with that. But yeah, I would be open to trying it again in the future just because I really like Fenty products. And I saw that they're coming out with another gloss bomb. I think this Friday it's dropping and it just looks so pretty. And I will definitely be trying that gloss bomb because I have on um, the white one right now and I really like it. Of course, I got a lip balm and I finished up my favorite one. This is Lipsol Lip Balm. I still use it and still love it to this day. I just don't talk about it as much anymore because I, I don't know, I feel like I've talked about it a lot <laughs> for the past few years. Over the years, I've tried a lot of lip balms and there are other formulas that I do like, but this is the one I go to when I really have dry lips or cracked lips, chapped lips, anything like that. Lipsol will help get rid of that and just bring it back to my natural state. It just kind of helps it feel nice and hydrated and it does have a minty scent to it. It's a little bit tingly if you apply a lot, but overall I find it to be pretty mild and it does contain beeswax in it. So I do want to mention that because I know some people are allergic to that. So just remember it has a little bee on the side you know um, just be aware of that but I do buy mine at Walmart and they are around three dollars each and one of you tagged me on Twitter and showed me that they have a two for one deal right now going on like a two double pack so I need to go out and get some because I am now completely out of Lipsol I completely ran out this was my last one and I hate being without this because it is my favorite formula so I need to go down and get some more so let's move on into skincare the first thing I have is a little sample I got this at Sephora as a point perk i think it was like 200 points or 100 i don't remember but i really wanted to try this and it's from drunk elephant it's called their virgin marula luxury facial oil it has a super long name i just call it marula oil and this is what i've been using to kind of help fight dryness on my skin especially during the winter months i have very dry skin year round i also have eczema i have sensitive skin and i've been making it a point to really focus on my skin this year and that's something i've I've always wanted to do, but I never really like went full throttle with it, you know what I mean? So I tried to do that this year and I found that this really took my skin from kind of being dull and dry to I still have a dry skin, but it's not like dull anymore. It doesn't have like super visible patchiness to it and I totally credit the Marilla oil for that. So after finishing this up, I went ahead and got the full size and I love this stuff. I feel like it is so worth it even though it is pricey. I love it. I really do. And I've talked about it before, so I'll just kind of keep it brief. But I do feel like Drunk Elephant is a great option if you guys have more sensitive skin because they are focused on doing like fragrance free, dye free, and kind of um, more natural based products. And I really like this oil just to kind of help with the dryness of it all. Okay, this is something that I bought straight out of just curiosity, and it's from CeraVe. It's their hydrating micellar water. And this says it contains hyaluronic acid to help hydrate the skin it's also approved by the national eczema association whenever products have this seal on it i just i'm a sucker and i have to try it my eyes just automatically get attracted to it because i have eczema myself so i'm always curious about what's out there and i got this i really liked it i want to 
to say it was like around 12, 11, 12 bucks. So kind of pricey for the drugstore, I know. But because it doesn't have fragrances in it, I'm willing to pay that extra price because of my, of my skin type. But I gotta say, this was great for just removing like traces of makeup, especially when I have like a full face. I like to go for a micellar cleansing water to just like really get in there. But it doesn't remove eye makeup, so don't expect it to just like take everything off. It didn't dry my skin out. I, I feel like it did the job, so I would definitely get this again. And uh, I always like to have a micellar water on hand. So this is a nice new one at the drugstore. I usually use the NYX one, but I haven't been able to find that at Target either. I feel like my favorite stuff is like gone now. And um, I don't know if it's being discontinued or what, but I'm glad that I found something else to replace it. So that's what I've been using. All right, so this is a little bit related to skincare. It's kind of random. It's actually a subscription service that I decided to sign up for. I was seeing this all over my Instagram and they are not sponsoring me. This is not paid for. I bought this myself. I signed up and everything. So it's called Billy and this is the little pouch it all comes in. It's a razor subscription. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's pretty much all over social media. Like I kept seeing it on Facebook, Instagram, and um, I think it showed up because I was Googling like to buy razor heads in bulk. And I normally just use like Gillette Venus or whatever. What really got me to sign up for this was I liked their message about like, you shouldn't have to pay more for razors if you're a woman and it should be equal. So that really, that message itself just really got me interested in the brand. And that's why I signed up because it is true. If you ever take a close look at razors in the women's section and then go look at the men's, the women's tend to be higher and they're the same razors. It's just colored pink or whatever. And it's like, I'm, I'm done with that girl. Like give me something better <laughs> and then this is the little pamphlet that just kind of explains everything that you're getting and they also explain in here like what the pink tax is and why that they believe that you shouldn't have to pay more for razors if you're a woman which I totally agree with I'm on board with that so and then they tell you how to like install it in your shower and everything I guess the reason why I really like it is because it's tailored to how much I shave and how much I use it so I'm not always having to go to the store when I run out and buying like five or ten heads at a time because that's really expensive and to be honest with you guys like I cannot afford that so I really like that this is kind of tailored more towards like how often I use it and what I need it's not based off of what they just have at the store so I love it for me it's working really nicely but that's pretty much it for that one more thing I have is a hair care product I finished up this conditioner from Redken I got this from a hairstylist shout out to Maribel she got me onto Redken for my hair and I really like it so this is their color extend magnet magnetics line this is for people who have color treated hair it smells like the best thing in the world it's so good it smells like like fresh clean like oh it's so good it's so good i wish you could just smell it. i love it i gotta smell it again <laughs> it just smells so good it's so refreshing every time i smell this i feel like i'm at the salon and i'm just like yes it smells so good and the other more important thing is that it does help prevent my color from fading or from bleeding and red is one of the really hard colors to keep like vibrant so i find that it does the best job out of everything i've used so far and i got onto this because this is what my hairstylist uses at her salon so i just get it from her and I have repurchased this a lot, but these bottles last me like forever because I don't wash my hair every day. Um, that's the secret. And just kind of a random thing that I used up, I have some perfume samples. It's not really skincare or hair care, but I just wanted to talk about them because they're fun. So I got these from Sephora Orders. This is a, a, a cologne actually. It's from Dior, it's the Sauvage. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it smells really good. I actually like this for myself. Like <laughs> I don't even care if it's a cologne, I don't care. It smells so musky. It just smells so good. I pretty much use like the whole sample, but I think there's a little more. I could try to get it. Ooh, it's so good. It smells sexy. It's just really, um, it's honestly kind of a bold in your face cologne. It's very strong, but I like it. I like to be kind of bold sometimes and wear cologne. I think it's it's nice. I, I, I'm kind of more of a musky person now. I used to go for florals a lot when I was younger, but now I'm just like, give me the spice, give me the musk, I want it. I like this one. I think it's a newer one from YSL. I think it's called Mon Paris or Paris. I don't know, girl, I don't speak French, I'm sorry. My grandma would be mad at me because she speaks French. But anyway, um, this is a good one. I just don't really buy new perfume a lot anymore. 
And even though I liked both of these, I probably won't buy them anytime soon just because I still have my bottle of Pinrose perfume, which I really like. And the other thing is I'm trying not to buy perfumes like more than one at a time. I really want to appreciate the scent that I have before I move on. So little samples like this are kind of fun for me because it's like something new and exciting and it's just fun and cute. But let me know what you guys are wearing down below. I do appreciate a good scent and I, I like it especially when I smell something on someone else that's really nice and I'm like, what is that? I don't know, it's just something a little bit mysterious about wearing a good scent. I finished up some candles here and I feel like I never finished candles, so I'm kind of excited to talk about these. I got them from Marshalls and they're from a brand called Sensational. They were $4 each and they lasted me for a month, so I can't really complain about that. They are made from coconut and beeswax. They're poured in the USA natural wicks. This one is birchwood. It was very light. It almost didn't smell like anything at all. So I won't be getting birchwood again just because, you know, I want something that actually smells. And then, so this one, Storm, this one was amazing. I loved this because it was just very fresh and it smelled a little bit, um, a little bit musky, but overall pretty clean. And I like stuff like that. But anyway, Storm kind of smelled to me like a fresh musky cranberry scent, which might sound gross, but it's actually really good. And I felt like for November, it was just kind of perfect, like to have a little cranberry scent in the air. I really liked it. And the bottle, like the packaging is just super cute. I love the wood. I don't know. I feel like I should reuse these little containers somehow, but $4, I really thought these were a good deal. All right, so now it is time to do all the fun stuff. We're gonna get into the snacks and the candy and all the bad stuff for you. I love this part of the video because I just get to talk about the things I ate and I just love eating. So I have a new candy, you guys. I was so bad and actually my boyfriend found these for me, so I blame him. Anyway, <laughs> they're called Smart Sweets and they're gummy bears that are actually made with like less sugar and they're dairy free. I didn't know that some gummy candies had dairy in them, but I guess they do. So this is high in fiber, uh, made, from, made free from artificial sweeteners, dairy soy and lactose free free from artificial colors. And these are the best. Like, ugh, like I could eat the whole pack at once. That's how good they are. And so when he buys these, we usually share them, but like I will walk away with the bag and like eat them while he's not liking them. Like I need these. Okay, so I wanna talk about some Trader Joe's things because that's what a majority of these are gonna be. You guys, if you don't know this about me, I absolutely love Trader Joe's and I have like an obsession with it. And lately I've been finding all of these pages on Instagram like dedicated to new Trader Joe's products. Like they, there's people who like blog about Trader Joe's and stuff and it's honestly the best thing ever. So I will tell you some of my favorite Trader Joe's pages down below. And because of them, I've kind of gotten into more of their newer like releases and stuff. Um, so this is one of them. It's called their three seed sweet potato crackers. I've never heard of these before and I shop at Trader Joe's like three times a week. I love these for just a good steady snack. They, I don't even like sweet potato. I know I'm weird. I'm one of those people who's not a big fan, but these are so delicious and they're just really good and crunchy and tiny and cute. I don't know, I love them. I thought they were really good. I actually recently got another box because I had some friends over and we ate the whole thing. It was, it was that good, we loved it. You guys, another new find for me. I don't know where I've been. This is called Gorilla Munch and it's from Nature's Path. It's that brand that makes granola. And you can find Nature's Path at Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, they're kind of everywhere now. But at Trader's they have this cereal called Gorilla Munch. This cereal is the bomb. It is my new favorite midnight snack ever. I don't even eat cereal in the morning. I'm just one of those people who likes it as a snack. I'm a snacker, guys. And this cereal, it's organic, no artificial uh, colors, sweeteners, non-GMO. They also have a mission to uh, have zero waste with their products. Another amazing Trader Joe's find for me. I haven't tried these until recently. So these are an Italian product. They're dark chocolate wafers. And these with coffee, even with tea, but with coffee, it has kind of like a hazelnutty, chocolatey flavor. I love just having one with coffee. Now the only downside is that they contain milk and I can't have milk. I'm, I'm allergic to milk, so I can only have like one of these at a time. But I just wanted to mention them and put it out there for anybody who likes dark chocolate or hazelnut because they are so, so good. I just have to mention them. But my grandma actually gets these and I will sneak one. And I'll sneak one and I'll be okay. I can't eat, I can't eat more than that because It'll get me messed up if I do, but I mean, it might be worth it. I don't know, it wouldn't be worth it, but I mean, they, they do taste pretty amazing. 
Um, okay, this is a staple in my freezer. These are the meatless breakfast patties. I love these for just mornings where I gotta get the hell out and, and go because this is still satisfying enough to where I don't feel hungry in the morning. And it's just um, basically a meatless patty. You heat it up in the microwave. It, it does contain eggs, so it's not vegan, but I love it. They are very tasty. These are limited edition, so I don't think they have them anymore, but I still gotta mention them. They are so good. They're the organic frosted toaster pastries and pumpkin. Basically, it's like a pop tart. I almost called it a toaster pop. <laughs> It's basically like a pop tart whenever Trader Joe's does all their pumpkin stuff. I always go for these They're so good. It's basically like a little bit better for you version of a pop tart and the pumpkin ones are really good But I also love the brown sugar ones that they have like year-round Okay, these are not from Trader's. These are actually from Sprouts, but they're the Gardein brand seven grain crispy tenders I love these so much you guys they are delicious if you just need a quick meal or like a snack or dinner I like to do these as a snack when I'm studying for the most part, I like to cook my own meals, but when I don't have time, I like these. The, the Gardein uh, Seven Grain Crispy Tenders, they're really good. They are meatless. I really like these just for something quick and simple and, and still crunchy. Like, they're so yummy. I love those. I still got some in my freezer right now. And then another quick kind of thing, like another quick meal when I just don't have time to think, I'll just get out my rice cooker and make some rice and then do this veggie stir fry. This is like $2 from Trader Joe's. You cannot go wrong with this stir fry. If you make this for your friends, like people think you put time into it when you really didn't. So this is like my secret weapon, the veggie stir fry. It has snow peas, carrots, bamboo, really good water chestnuts, and it's two bucks. So it's good. It's really good if you're on a budget. All right, guys. Well, that is it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you finished up recently down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you all. And as always, thank you so much for watching.